Man, I just want to give anybody a listen. Like, if I could just speak to one person out there, a lot of people out there, so y'all won't make the same motherfucking mistake that I did, then that's just all I want to do because I'm telling y'all, do not put out shit if you cannot dish that same shit when it come back to you, I swear to motherfucking God. And I wasn't even supposed to be crying up on this hoe, but I just can't. I can't even stop crying because I know I it's all my motherfucking fault. Thanks. So I had a dude. I've been fucking with this dude since like 2013. Like, no matter what the fuck I did, this dude will always be there for me. I could always go back to him. And I just got comfortable with that shit and started doing whatever. Like, I mean, I started doing the fucking most, the worst of the worst I done did to this dude, thanks. And even after the worst of the worst, he still took me back. And so I'm still thinking, like, yo, I forever got him. But, you know, just like females can... Before they really just be out of a relationship, they kill that shit mentally in their head. Like, niggas can do the same fucking thing. So, yo, he was constantly, like, taking me back, taking me back. But over time, like, he was slowly losing feelings for me. And I thought he would never. Like, bro, he not even doing nothing, like, to just even spite me. Like, he just really just doing him because I done fucked him over so many times. He just tired of the bullshit. Like, ain't no more coming back. And he got a baby on the way. Like, I was supposed to have his first child. Like, that's what really hurt me. Like, him, I was supposed to be your first baby mom. We were supposed to have our first child together. Now I got to watch you. It's kind of like, I ain't never known nobody else to be in this man life but me. Like, I never known no other female. Like, some hoes that you probably just fucking on. You haven't probably heard it. But, like, being in a relationship with nobody, somebody I ain't never other than me. I swear to God. Now, not only you got a baby on the way, who you finna have to be in that child life, but you trying to move on, and you probably a best to get a girlfriend. And it's like, damn, I know all the shit I did, but it's still, like, I cannot take sin, bro. I cannot deal with that, like, I swear to God. All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. First and foremost, let to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim, Kadash. Let to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who will and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shall I want to all the birds out there that the full conserve, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity? Shall I want? Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh in North Carolina, come back with another quick lesson through this prayer prayer, Yahweh Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai. And as you see on this, um, from the video before, you know, a reality is hitting Eve very hard, okay? And soon, all you Israelite women, okay, are going to realize that um, the way you've been treating the Israelite man, okay, is going to result <laughs> in your very uh, destruction, okay? And so, um, I'm going to get some scriptures because, hey, amen, our women are going to learn. All right, how about Shemal Shai? As a kid, got to teach our women a very, very hard lesson, man. Because our woman has sided with Esau, Edom, this is the serpent, the devil that the Bible speaks of, okay, and uh, has treated the Israelite man like crap, okay, like as for nothing, all right. But you go learn that an Israelite man, specifically, you know, of the elect of the nation of Israel, an Israelite man, okay, is a. Uh, Hey Amen. It's going to be more precious than anything on this planet, man, in these times. So, when you get this, this is the book of Isaiah 32 and 9. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease and kind. So, what? These women in America, they're at ease. They don't really got to worry about nothing. All right. Why? Because Big Daddy government is going to take care of you. Okay. You know, but we're seeing more and more as the time goes on that this place is uh, so called um, relinquishing responsibility. Uh, for you, you uh, 
you is like women, okay? Of all the tribes, Negro, Latino, and Native American, okay? It says, rise up, rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters, right? And our, our women are very careless right now. Matter of fact, let's get the definition of careless. It says careless. It says careless. From Old English, it says free from anxiety of no concern. Okay. And anxiety is a what? A fear of the unknown. Okay. So the women in this society really don't have a fear of the unknown, but they soon will. All right. They're free from that. It says unconcerned. Yeah, our women are not concerned about a damn thing in this place. You know why? Because they can just go to Big Daddy government, Esau Edom, okay, and get whatever she needs, man, okay? You know, they, as scriptures say, <clears throat> they can pass a man, or right, that word can pass, means they, they go around the Israelite man, okay? They go around his authority, okay, and go to Esau. It says, um, let's see, it says, original sense extinct by mid- 17th century, now in carefree, modern day meaning, it says not paying attention, attentive, un inattentive, not taking due care, okay? And our, our, our women are what? What careless, not paying attention to what's going on in the world, they're unattentive to, uh, to, to the men of the Lord, the Lord has put out there on the streets, unattentive to the word. All right, not paying attention, just all types of careless doing, uh, living a, in, in a fantasy world. Okay, it says, um, meaning it says, done or said without care, uh, un unconsidered. Okay, so what uh, they're very careless. Here's some more it says, careless, an adjective usually followed by of, uh, without due thought or consideration. It says marked by a lack of attention or or consideration, forethought, or thought thorough thoroughness, uh, not careful, and that's you know, <laughs> hey man, this is exactly how women are. So the Lord said, "Why is it you women that are at ease? You careless daughters, okay? Because our our women are very careless in this place. So they got this saying called um carefree black girls, okay? All right." You know, where, you know, our, our the women are not caring about anything significant in this place. Well, really, what they really care about is folly. Okay. The scriptures say folly is set in great dignity. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's see. Stock you. Yep. This is Ecclesiastes. Uh, 10 and 6, it says, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in in low place. All right, so what? Folly, which foolishness, all right, which the women of the nation of Israel, they perpetuate foolishness in the community, so-called community. All right, it says, it's set in great dignity. They they hold that esteem. You got a woman just twerking for no reason. That's the only thing it seems like the Israelite woman knows how to do. And shake her ass, you know. <laughs> hey man, it's getting to the point. You know, at one point, brothers is like, you know, you know, before we came in the truth, you know, that used to be like a, you know, oh damn, you know. Now it's happening so much. It's it's not even what it used to be. Okay, you know, but folly is set in great dignity, man. All right, it's held at a high esteem. Okay, you know, it says, and the rich sit in low place. Okay, I mean what? Those ones that are rich are really the ones that have the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, ultimately the elected nation is, they're in a low place right now. Okay, low status. But soon that's all about to change. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the one who calls God and Jesus Christ, is about to change that. Because so like you just saw in the video, reality is hitting Eve real hard. Okay, that they're that they are going to realize that they need a man, not any man. <laughs> a man of the Lord. Let's get some scriptures on that. Let's see. Let's get the main one real fast. All right. It's not just going to be any man. It's going to be a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man of the Lord. 
all right, a man of the elect of the nation of Israel, okay? It's Isaiah 4 and 1. And it reads, it says, And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, okay? That number seven represents completion, so really is whatever that man feels like dealing with at that time, all right? And that number can go from <laughs> two, three, seven, eight. All the way up until however man feels like dealing with, it, especially in these times. All right. It says, and it says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. We will make our own food, wear our own clothes. Okay. It says, Let us only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. And how does you, how do you, uh, a woman, put on your name? She becomes your wife, okay? You know, she becomes yours, okay? All right? All right? And and, and no one else is, man. So that's what's going to be happening, man. These women will be like, you look, we're, we want to deal with you and you only, okay? You know, just just have, let me be your wife, you know, to take away our reproach. And that reproach is what the times of trouble that's about to come, all right? The, the hell, the famine, the death and destruction that we're about to see out here in these streets, man. You know, because scriptures say what? You know, a man should be a hiding place from from the wind. What's that wind? The destruction. Okay, let's see. Let's get that hiding. Wind. Yep. This is Isaiah. Th <laughs> Isaiah thirty two. Uh, and two. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind. And and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Kind. So what? It's going to be known that what? A man of the Lord. Okay? Because this is talking about a man of the Lord. It's not talking about every other man. Okay? Because the, the wicked man is going to be asked out on that day. Okay? But a man of the Lord is going to be as a hiding place from that wind. That wind is that death and destruction. Okay, you know, a hiding place is somewhere, you know, almost like a fortress, you know, same thing how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our fortress, our hiding place, you know, where we uh, seek refuge at. So these women are going to have to seek refuge with a man of the Lord, all right, who's under that vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, who's following the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that servant of the Lord, man. Okay, and our women are soon going to realize that the things that they've been doing. In this place to to um, undermine the Israelite man, it's go it's go pay them back a horrible visit, man. They will have a horrible regrets, man. Okay, you know, and, and we're living in that time, man. All right, so you know, just I just want to show that video. The Lord had me find that video earlier, um, today, and I knew in the spirit that I was gonna have to do a lesson on this. Hey, Amen. Rise with you women at ease. You better get right with me. How about Shemuel Shai while you still can. All right, and you better pray that the Lord sends you a man of the Lord so in that time you'll be covered. Because if not, you're going to be out here for the streets, man. And, man, all hell type of is going to break loose and you'll be out there for the wolves. I mean, wolves, the most grimiest uh, uh, people out here, especially of the tribes, the most grimiest uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, are going to take advantage of you. <laughs> Hey, man, you know, so um, hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. You know, you sisters, if you sisters out there, if you're hearing this word, man, you better get right. You know, you better get right with the Lord, man. Okay, you know, and humble yourself down and get with the man of the Lord because times is about to be evil. So with that, hopefully this is edifying to the elected nation of Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father. And it's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh I think it double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full cause of earth, putting this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.